What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. Finally back at it and going back into the Sierra Nevada collaboration pack, Beer Camp Across the World. Uh, so I chose my my six pairs of beers at random, the only caveat being I wanted to do a stateside and a, an international collaboration in each one, as there are six of each. Uh, this is probably the toughest pairing I found to try to figure out the right order. I think I got it, but we'll see. But I'm going to lead off with a collaboration with Boneyard Beer in Bend, Oregon. This is their West Coast style double IPA. Uh, notes on this collaboration. It was a given that when Sierra Nevada and Boneyard join forces to make a beer, you're going to get some type of an IPA. Together we're brewing an intense West Coast style double IPA Heavy with the classic hop character that defines both our beers. It features mosaic, Simcoe, Centennial, and Citra hops in ridiculous amounts. Sure to please the hop heads within us all. 8.2% ABV, 65 IBU. Uh, they mentioned the hops used. Other ingredients include ale yeast. Malts are two-row pale, Pilsner, Munich, acidulated, and flaked barley. And they also used farm distilled hop oil. And again, this is one of the just about handful that came in. Uh, 16 ounce cans instead of the 12 ounce glass bottles. Okay, so obviously still a little bit of it left in the glass, but it's a fairly clear, nice golden color. Kind of holds about the same up in the light. Maybe some uh, like lemonish, light lemonade type highlights, and uh, with that kind of golden hue in the middle. A uh, decent head that's hanging around a good bit. Uh, kind of a mix of bubbles. Some uh, some super small fluffy bubbles along with a, a good number of uh, larger ones as well. All right, let's check it out. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting plenty of uh, tropical fruit uh, as kind of an initial note. Uh, big juicy mouthfeel to it as well. The the, the tropical fruits are, are very prevalent. I think there's a little bit of a some not a little bit but a, a fair amount of citrus in there though. It's kind of more coming through. I feel like. Uh, Almost like in, a, in an acidic way than in a in a flavor way. I think they're the fruits are blending fairly well with the the citrus fruits are blending fairly well with the tropical fruits, uh, and so I think I'm getting it more as a, a mouthfeel kind of a contribution than a, a flavor contribution. Maybe a hint of pine, definitely some dankness in there as well. Uh, almost kind of like a, a mustiness, a little bit of sweetness. Um, good amount of hop bite for a, a double IPA. I, I tend to find that the, the doubles and triples a lot of the times will just be more sweet than hoppy. Uh, but there's a definite hop bite, and actually, frankly, right now I'm getting a little bit more of the pine and the dankness as a uh, aftertaste um, than in the beer itself. Uh, but going back to the previous point, uh, definitely getting a good amount of bitterness that I don't often get in these, uh, these double tri and triple IPAs. And the, uh, double IPAs are what I have more experience with certainly than the triples, but I'm very surprised at the amount of, uh, of hot bitterness, which is coming through. But yeah, really not, actually very little sweetness to it at all. Um, again, in terms of like the boozy sweetness and I mean, 8.2% ABV isn't, it's on the high side. It's not uh, super high. So maybe that's why, I'm sure it's, I'm sure that's why I'm probably getting a, a not quite as much sweetness. Uh, but again, pretty surprised at the, the hop level, the bitterness level. It, it, to me, it almost feels like a, 
kind of a juicy standard IPA rather than a double. But uh, it's really enjoyable. I'm really liking the the citrus is starting to come through a little bit more now to me. That uh, I think I'm getting used to it a little bit. Uh, but the, that tropical fruit is really heavy up front. But then a lot of the excuse me, a lot of the other traditional hop notes that I talked about previously, including that citrus, uh, really come through further on, later on in this drinking experience. And there's just a, a little bit of that acidic bites coming through, uh, a little bit heavier. It's, it's light early on. It's coming through a little bit heavier again in that second half of the, of the drinking experience. Mm. But that is, uh, that's really tasty, though. And that's the, the West Coast Style Double IPA from Sierra, and bon so Sierra Nevada and Boneyard. Let's move on to the next beer. All right, there's a, the summer thunderstorm starting to roll through Columbia, South Carolina here. So hopefully I don't get thrown off too much by thunder or lightning. But uh, I'm ready to do the next collaboration. This is with Mikkeler Brewery in Copenhagen, Denmark. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, this is the Thai Style Iced Tea Ale. Uh, you see there's a bunch of additional print with other ingredients uh, down there. We'll get to that in just a moment in the description, which says... Mikkeler has opened several world-class craft beer bars all over the world, most recently in Asia. We wanted to apply this globetrotting take to our collaboration brew. We found inspiration in a classic Thai iced tea, the spiced tea and condensed milk classic ubiquitous in Thai restaurants. The result is a spiced amber ale brewed with black tea, sweet orange peel, tamarind, and star anise with lactose added for a full and creamy mouthfeel. 7.2% ABV, 12 IBU. And in addition to the ingredients mentioned in the description, they used ale yeast. Hops are Magnum, Mandarina Bavaria, and Tetananger. Malts used include Pilsner, wheat, puffed red rice, oats, and acidulated malts. So let's check this out. Okay, so uh, first off, fairly uh, violent pour, relatively speaking. Uh, really didn't generate much in terms of a head, maybe just a, just a finger's worth. And, uh, it's slightly hazy, this beer, uh, but it's a nice, uh, I would also call this a gold color, though it's, uh, several shades deeper, darker than, uh, the previous beer. The, uh, the, the double IPA. Um, gold, it's, I guess it's bordering on a kind of an orange color. And yeah, more like a, a solid orange, solid orange core as I hold up to the light with some uh, yellow, yellow to straw colored highlights. All right, let's try it out. Hmm. A little bit of the grain notes coming out of the. Um, the, the amber style. The spices of the tea are very prevalent. As are uh, the, the star anise and I'm guessing the tamarind. Uh, it, it's been a little while since I've had anything with, with that uh, in it. And I don't know if it's ever been kind of a focal point. I'm I'm a little more familiar with star anise from uh, a few things, but the tamarind itself, I'm not quite, uh, I'm not super familiar with. Everything they mention shows up. I am not entirely convinced for me that it blends together all that well. Everything, again, everything's present and everything tastes fine. Uh, I'm starting to get, as I drink a little more, the, the orange peel and the sweetness is starting to become a little bit more forward, especially the sweetness. Hmm. As I was approaching that, I got a big whiff of orange aroma and orange peel aroma uh, coming up. Um, I just don't know. It's not bad. It's certainly drinkable, but, um, I feel like for me, it's not quite all coming together. And perhaps that was a, a, a 
a struggle with what I what it got paired with. Uh, maybe it would have been better off leading off with this. I mean, it is an amber, so but the it, it's certainly plenty intense. Hmm. But I mean, let's get let's get into it. it's. Again, everything it says it has is it's certainly very present, and I think this the spices are the biggest thing. Uh, I expected a little bit more out of the mouthfeel, frankly. There's maybe a little bit of like a slickness or a creaminess there, but otherwise it's, it's a fairly standard uh, in terms of mouthfeel. So, yeah, I'm just not quite. I'm not quite there on it. I don't. Again, I don't dislike it. And there's nothing really off-putting about it. It just doesn't quite come together for me. But um, that's all right. That's uh, the way beers go sometimes. So, But that is the uh, Thai-style iced tea from Sierra Nevada and Mickler Brewery. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those usernames and... Uh, links in the description below and also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel if you're so inclined thanks for watching i'll see you around at poorly reviewed beer